1943, in Columbus, Ohio, two baby girls were born. They were twins, but they were not alike. Joyce was a normal baby girl, but Judith was profoundly disabled. She had Down syndrome, but she was also deaf, and because she was deaf, she never learned how to speak properly. Nevertheless, the two girls were incredibly close. Then one day, Joyce came back from school and realized that her sister was gone. She went to an institution as was recommended to her parents. At the time though, the people at the institution didn't know that she was deaf, so they thought her IQ was much lower than it actually was. For most of her young adulthood, she was a very angry and miserable person. She would fight her caregivers and none of her doctors thought that she would live very long. Meanwhile, her twin sister Joyce had gone to college. Joyce decided to reunite with her sister and to everyone's surprise, Judy remembered her. She enrolled her in an art class called Creative Growth, where Judy began to take an interest in fiber art. To everyone's surprise, she took to it like a duck to water. Galleries and museums around the world began to take notice. Much of her art depicts sisters and twins and the threads that connect them. At its best, Judith Scott's art reminds us that we're all connected and that the strongest threads of all are those of love.